Well, hey there, I am Arthur Morris, Burgess Art, and I can teach you to make better photographs of birds. This is not one of them. This is just an establishing shot to show you what I saw working from my car. Now for each image, you can check out the date, the time. This is the Sony 200 to 600 at 200 millimeters. Then working at 1200 millimeters off the blub, the big lens ultimate beanbag from the front seat of my car, and then a horizontal. Cleaning up the background, big difference from that to that to that. Then a visit to the eagle nest, things getting stronger every day. I think that's the mother and the young one in the nest. And then flapping away, by the second day I switched to 840 and I worked off the ladder and got some neat flapping stuff, including both the adult and the young bird. This is the morning Marcus came over. We were just a little bit late getting them crossing the canal. So we worked the family with a sort of small in the frame habitat shot walking down the road. And then in the south field with some tick seed blossoms, I wish the bird in the back had its head turned to the right. Otherwise, I like the effect. By the 9th, which I think was Wednesday, the young bird was actually getting up in the air, the young eaglet. And then the next day, the 10th, working with the 2 to 600 and changing light, this is another establishing shot to show you the situation. Uh, one adult crane and one of the chicks, about two and a half, three weeks old, going to swim across. The adult decided to fly, so I didn't really have much of a shutter speed at 1 640th, but what the heck, you got to do it when it comes, and remarkably sharp for a 640th of a second in part because of the short focal length, 230 millimeters. Then the chick started swimming and I started shooting and then they got a little closer. Notice no depth of field here is going to help you with one bird six inches behind the other. Then just about ready to get out of the water, I'll make this one. And then on the way home, I stopped by the osprey nest and lo and behold, the osprey was sitting in the perfect spot for a portrait. So again, working off the big lens ultimate beanbag from the car, I made this one exposing way to the right. But interesting that he picked the only spot to land where I could get a clean shot at it. Then this morning, I'm making this video on the evening of March 10th, which I believe is a Thursday. I went out in really overcast skies and this sandhill crane walked up to me and you get an idea why it was so tame. Here's what's waiting for me. Two little baby cranes, hopefully coming in a couple of days. So I had fun working with just the 70 to 200 here. It's raining pretty good and you'll see the rain when the image is optimized. The rain will be much more apparent. And then I stopped by the eagle nest in these dreary conditions, sort of like that one. And then I was working the crane family. They were on the South Peninsula, and I got an amazing series. You see the nictitating membrane down here, the little one starting to jump, and here the little ones jumped. I took about 20 frames, 25 maybe, and this one was the best autofocus nailed the chick's eye and the adult was just beyond the plane of focus. And here's the optimized version, the original, the optimized version with after being leveled, the optimized version after being leveled, then still working 7200 alone, all at f2.8. You get an idea how dreary it was. A nice little baby crane colt, scenic, small in the frame habitat shot. And then sitting on the ground, raining pretty good. This will tighten up nicely. And then still raining, but with the sky background, you don't see it. And I am putting the lens almost on the ground and working off the back screen. That's about it. This was a quickie. Hope to see you at Indian Lake Estates in Homer, Alaska, in San Diego, in Jacksonville or Fort DeSoto. Be well, make some great pictures. Love you. Bye. Artie.